Hi folks, it's Kevin Reardon coming to you from Shakespeare. Happy New Year. It is great to get past 2020. What a year. Thought it would make sense for us to uh, touch base, tell you what's new at Shakespeare and give you a little state of the union. And so uh, let's get started. First, I wanted just to touch base on your Shakespeare team. The team is very strong and working well together. Although all of you would know your primary point of contact and maybe a few other team members, not sure if you knew of each person on the team. So I thought I'd introduce you to each person here working left to right. So far left here in red is Colleen Shenicky. Colleen's been with us over 15 years and she's in charge of marketing, newsletters, blogs, Anything you see coming out of Shakespeare has her fingerprints on it. Next to Colleen is Nick Zarek. Uh, Nick joined us in January of 2018. Uh, he's a key advisor here. Next to Nick, Brittany Weedmeyer. Brittany is our operations manager, and she makes things work oh so smoothly in the background. Next to Brittany, Ryan Rink. Ryan joined us in November 2019 as an advisor. Next to Ryan, Andrea Bulin. Andrea has been with us since July of 2013. So she's the senior most advisor. Next to this guy, a goofball next to her, that's obviously me. I'm uh, here in my 22nd year since founding Shakespeare. And then next to me, Brian Ellenbecker. Brian joined us roughly a year ago, February 2020. One of the neat things we're very proud of is that five of us are certified financial planners. So that's the gold standard here in the industry. And uh, great to know that your team has that high level of technical expertise. Also, we'll be adding a new team member this coming summer, more on the operations side to help Brittany. So stay tuned for that announcement. We've been doing a lot of strategic planning behind the scenes for really the next decade to make sure Shakespeare is strong and here for you for the decades to come. And one of the things that came out of that were core values. And so I thought I'd share those with you today. Uh, at the top of the list, number one is relationships and that's relationships with each of you. I, I have to tell you, the relationships is why I started Shakespeare. It's something I'm so proud of and really feel very blessed to be working with each of you. And so everything we do is focused on making sure that you get the highest level of service and value from us. The three D, uh, excuse me, three Ds, do your job, do it well, do it now. We've been fortunate to hire great people and uh, certainly far smarter than me. The do it now uh, speaks to the urgency in which we're responding to your needs. And so when you call the office, you get a real person. When you send an email, you get a reply back in a few hours. And so that urgency and do it now is part of our core value. Certainly you met the team. The culture here at Shakespeare is very collaborative. So even though you have a, a primary point of contact, understand that the team is working collaboratively every day behind the scenes to answer and solve problems. Each team member has developed their own niche, whether it's tax planning, retirement planning, and so on. So as questions come up in servicing your account, understand the whole team is working on your behalf. And then community. When I started Shakespeare, I knew it was important to give back and to make community part of our DNA. And we've, uh, something I'm very proud of. Last year, we didn't do a lot of that because of COVID and the lockdown, but this year we hope to do a Habitat for Humanity Day, maybe an air flight climb for lung cancer and some of the charitable run, walk type events. So stay tuned for more of that. Office renovation, we have captured 400 square feet of space from our neighbor and we'll be doing a small renovation here starting within a week. And so the office is gonna be closed from January 25th until about February 26th as we expand. That will uh, get us an extra conference room and space for three more desks to basically anticipate the future growth 
here at Shakespeare. If you're needing to drop off paperwork and things like that at the office, please reach out to me or your point of contact and we'll schedule a time where somebody can be here to pick that up. Um, in the spirit of the Jetsons, the virtual office visits will continue for the foreseeable future. We went virtual uh, December 1st. We're gonna keep that until at least March 1st. I think we're in the seventh or eighth inning of COVID. Obviously the vaccine is here and getting distributed. And we wanna make sure before we start welcoming you back into the office that everybody's safe. Um, by the way, we've been very fortunate where no team members have had COVID. And um, we're looking forward to seeing you just as soon as possible, really as soon as it's stay, uh, safe, so stay tuned. Little market update. So two things we can learn from last year. Number one is that our disciplines worked. In March, when the markets plummeted, our rebalance alarms went off and we were able to rebalance you into equities at very reduced prices and participate fully in the recovery. So it, it definitely worked. The second takeaway is that there's nobody who could have predicted in January of last year, the global pandemic, social unrest, a very contentious presidential election. And even if you had been able to predict those things, there's no way anybody would have predicted the market would have been up last year. And so again, a key takeaway is we don't make market timing bets. And so when you call the office and say, I think, and I feel, you may be 100% right on what's gonna happen in the world, but we have no idea how the markets are gonna respond. In that regard, we obviously have a new administration, but relative to the previous slide, we don't make market bets. We don't take tactical shifts in our investment posture based on the winds of change. And so no changes to your portfolio based on a new administration. We might get higher tax rates or a higher tax law this year or next. We don't know if that's gonna be the case. We don't know what that would look like. And even if we get that, that does not mean the stock market will necessarily go down. And so stay the course continues to be our core, one of our core disciplines. We missed you this year or last year, I should say, at our summer party. We unfortunately had to cancel the Christmas party. We are really looking forward to seeing each of you in person and hope to host a summer party in July or August. Safety, um, you know, precluding. So stay tuned for that. We're hoping July or August, I'll make a judgment call on that as we get closer. We'd be outside. Um, we'd love to see you, shake hands, give you a hug, share some good cheer and really celebrate. All right, we're growing and uh, we had just completed or had uh, you complete a client survey. Thank you to everybody who submitted that. There were a few takeaways that came from that survey. Number one is that we have a very high level of technical expertise and the relationships we've been able to form with each of you is special and different. Special in the sense we're talking about a lot more than money things like family, your values, your health, and how those things then correlate to financial decisions. It's because of those two strengths that Shakespeare has differentiated ourselves in the marketplace and really contributed to good growth the last five and 10 years. So thank you for your confidence and thank you for all of the referrals over the years. Greatly appreciate it. Um, we added two new advisors here in the last year with Brian Ellen Becker and Ryan Rink. Coupled with a software implementation, we now have a lot more capacity. And so we are looking to grow moving forward. For 2021, we're looking to add 10 new clients. Uh, for the first time, I'm really asking for a referral from the perspective of if you know somebody who needs help. It's been heartbreaking for us to run into scenarios where we could have helped somebody. They get referred to us a little bit too late 
after an event and we're not able to help them or help them as much as we can. There is not a lot of great advice that's out there in the industry and uh, from all reviews, Shakespeare's doing things better and differently and we'd love to help your family and friends. In that regard, clients come to us typically in transition points. So as you're talking with friends, family, colleagues, these are transition points where someone might need our help. Obviously, someone a few years from retirement is the typical time someone reaches out. The Social Security Medicare decision is a big talking point and it's a very technical level of expertise that we have that people need when they reach that point. If you're widowed, recently divorced, anybody inheriting money, selling a business, those are all scenarios where people need our help. And then lastly, this family planning is something we just started. We've gotten a lot of questions over the last 12 to 24 months from clients saying, can you help my adult children? Really from the standpoint of, can we open up a discussion with the family about the family finances? And in part, a discussion about family values so that ultimately when these kids, adult kids inherit money, that they know what to do with it. And they know the values that drove mom and dad over the years in accumulating and managing that wealth. And so we started a program to do that. Uh, we're really excited by it. So if you want to learn more, reach out. We'd love to talk to you about it. And then the second opinion program we've started, if you have friends and family that don't know the questions to ask, but they want a different set of eyes to look at their situation, we created a program called the second opinion program where we can reasonably quickly look at a person's situation give them some really solid feedback, and then that person can decide if it's worth engaging Shakespeare. So that's really an update, a state of the union. Your Shakespeare team is strong. I think things are going very well. We're looking forward to a great 2021. We can't wait to see you in person, but in the meantime, we'll certainly see you via Zoom. If you have any questions, either reach out to your primary point of contact or to me and we hope to connect with you soon. Thanks, take care.